Welcome to Dependable Flame, where we explore vintage petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms. Make yourself at home. Today we have an other useful mechanism that should be very familiar. At least the image on this ashtray should be very familiar to anyone who spent time driving in the state of Oklahoma um, up till, I don't know, I'm guessing probably 20 years ago. At the time that I began driving, having to have your vehicle safety inspected was not only required but it was not something that you could necessarily take for granted some of the cars that I was driving back then would not have met the requirements of cars being built at the time the first car that I drove was a 1970 Mustang Fastback and until we got the interior done in it my dad and I had rebuilt the car together until I got the interior redone in it there was a bench seat out of an old Ranchero in the front and a couple of padded stadium seats just sitting in the back no seat belts whatsoever but that was before seat belt laws even so I guess if you don't have a law requiring it then you don't have to have the seat belt to comply with it now I'm holding this white paper behind this just to give you a better view of the image that is portrayed on this ashtray but also to show you that the place that I bought it the booth that I bought it at at a place called the rink on the west side of Oklahoma City had a variation of it that was painted and the lady that owned the booth she checked me out over there that day very nice lady and she seemed to think that that paint wasn't original but it looked thick and something about the discoloration on it looked authentic to me but you know I'm not an expert on much especially paint old paint so maybe she knew something I didn't but I didn't buy it because it was more expensive and some of the paint was chipped but you can see where the white background would give a lot more defined look anyway of what is a depiction of the Oklahoma automobile safety inspection that your vehicle was required every year I can't recall now exactly how much it cost seemed like when I first started driving in 1986, 1987, I would have gotten my permit when I was 15 and 86 and then been driving with my driver's license by 87. Seems like back then it might have been like even less than ten dollars but even by the time that they did away with them it still wasn't real expensive maybe twenty dollars or so I can't remember I'm sure somebody will correct me somebody's got a better memory of that than I did but if your car had a leaky exhaust or you know by the time that the 80s came in if the car required certain emissions equipment on it then the safety inspection would require that 
where the older cars were sort of grandfathered in, I guess. They weren't keeping you from driving the old cars. I, well, obviously, they're still not. They're not even doing the safety inspection now. Now, this says 4th Annual AAMBA Vehicle Inspection Workshop, September 15th through the 18th, 1975. So this AAMBA, that must be who was responsible, who this ashtray was actually advertising for. And then they just incorporated the safety inspection sticker, which I think is, was pretty clever. I like that. Finding something like this all these years later, that's pretty cool. Especially knowing now that our vehicles don't require it probably never did it was probably just money in the government's pocket this ashtray seems pretty typical to me in most ways but it's well it is perfectly square it is also at least square from the corners it is indented pinched in on every side so it kind of sort of like a four point star rather than a perfect square. I'm not sure if that description is correct or not. That is, I believe, an adhesive. Maybe not. That may be actually printed on the glass or it may be a I don't think it's an adhesive on this one. I can't feel it if there is. Sometimes you can feel it and it'll be a thick clear plastic oh what's the word sticker basically applied to the back surface but that appears to be I don't know, print it or paint it on there in some way. Anyway, a very interesting ashtray that brings up a lot of memories for me. Back when I was working at the machine shop when I was a teenager and able to drive, there was a certain place there in town that I took a vehicle one time that had no business passing for my dad and when it passed then everybody was convinced that not only was that the place to take it but I was the person to send there that I had some kind of pool or leverage or something and in reality I think those people just didn't care but I was always glad to get out of the shop or the feed store, whatever work it was I was doing at the time, to go down and do that chore for somebody else. Because it wasn't much of a chore. I always enjoyed driving cars. Until next time.